Miss Bassett, your husband was is one of the great numismatists of all times. Air Bass has inspired people for years and years about his collecting. Can you tell us a little bit about him and his life? Well, thank you for those remarks. I, I think he's beaming down on you right now. Um, the way he started was by accident. He was serving on a bank board, and one of his employees came to him one day and said, could you get me a bag of dimes? So Harry brought it to him, and this is many years ago. A few years later, the man came back and said, you know that bag of dimes? He had, he had tripled his money. So Harry thought, well, there must be something in that collecting business. So he didn't stop with dimes. He went for the gold, as you know, now from his collection. And he, he collected a premier collection of early U.S. gold, even before the mints started putting their mint marks on them. So it was his passion. He collected for many years. Well, learning coins is no easy matter. How did he go about building a, 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 oh. a people and a staff to help no. him and learn all of the things about numismatics? He never undertook anything without really studying it. I mean, he could tell you every detail, and he had the little, uh, the little eye things that you Boot examined magnifies. each. Oh, examined each coin, and he loved to find little differences. We called gotchas. Uh, maybe something's turned wrong or a star is, is misplaced on one coin, but that was his, that's what he loved to do. And there's a book written about that with Dan, uh, Dan Rather, uh, on those gotchas. And what but, was it like for you being with someone who was so passionate about such an interesting but very narrow field? Well, of course, in a collecting, you would hope that there might be something that you could <laughs> You could wear or do, but no, these were tucked carefully away uh, through the years. And Harry, when he was collecting, if there's a coin, one piece that he wanted, but it was in a whole a lot of coins, he would buy the whole lot and those would sit aside and then he would add that one coin to his magnificent collection. So what he did uh, after he passed away we had to decide which way to go with his collection. It was it was too much. We couldn't keep it in a bank vault. So the trustees uh, decided that we approached the Smithsonian to put the collection there, and they wanted to break it up into eras, like costumes and coins and so forth. But I did not want to do that. I wanted to keep the Bass collection, Harry Bass collection, intact. So that's when we approached the ANA, American Numismatic Association and they kept it all together. But at that point then, we deassessed all those extra coins that he had bought, the extra pieces in those lots, and added to the foundation, and we're doing a world of good with the funds from those coins. I think he would be very proud of our stewardship of his collection. And if you were to sum summarize, Harry, what, what was the most important thing to him about his collecting? I guess his passion for it. But he approached other things like that. He developed a, a great ski area in Vail, Colorado, and he was the chairman of the board of that at the same time he had this going. And he served as president of the American uh, Numismatic Association for several years. Uh, but I guess his passion for things, once he's into it, he studied it, he got people like Mike Brownlee, who is uh, no longer with us, to help him get the pieces he wanted for his collection. And he had a unique way of, uh, at the auctions, he would either reach in for a handkerchief or tell his dealer what he wanted to do or how much he wanted to go. He had little secret moves. So a lot of times people didn't even know it was Harry who was buying a coin. And what may we look forward to from the Bass Foundation now? Our uh, emphasis is on youth and education, primarily in Texas and more essentially in Dallas and in the area. We've done a lot of good things for the community and for the state. And I'm pleased that we can, we can have that added value that will go on for years.